Hello guys, welcome back to Codelens, where we venture into the uncharted waters in Matter Software. If you are new to the channel, feel at home and be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Now, let's get to the objective of our today's episode, where we are going to have a look at how we can be able to create thin jars and also how we are going to be able to use build packs to generate our docker images now first thing that I would, like, I would like us to talk about is build pack or basically build packs so what is a build pack build packs basically they transform your application source code into images that can run on any cloud so what does this mean to us it means we can be able to create a container image directly from our source code without the need of a docker file all right now as you remember from our previous episode we were able to generate a docker image based on this particular docker file with the instructions that we define in here all right now out of the box this generated a fat jar for us all right and as you are going to see as you progress on the episode fat jars have their own caveats all right now let us first of all now have a look at certain examples of build packs all right now number one example of build pack is a spring boot plugin which internally is going to use the build pack code paketo all right another example of build pack is jib basically which is provided by google all right so you're going to see that jib also builds optimized docker and oci images for your java applications without a docker daemon right and without a deep mastery of docker best practices all right so on a high level overview this kind of uh, abstracts certain concerns that a developer may maybe may be having all right so let us in this particular episode we are going to use the spring boot maven plugin build pack all right so that we can be able to generate a docker image all right so now so as so that we can be able to see that indeed this should be able to work without a docker file i'm just going to come here i'm going to delete that docker file right now the next thing that i'm going to do is in my pom file i'm going to add another plugin dependency which is for spring boot spring boot all right now having said that now i can come here and say let us add a configuration in here that is going to say image all right so image then i'm going to call this image name all right let's say i'm going to call it docker.io all right so i'm going just to use a sample registry that i have all right then i'm going to call this let's say project dot artifact id all right artifact id then let's say a version one all right so let me reload this so that our project can be synced basically can be resynced now having done that now to generate this particular docker image for this application all we all, what we just need to do is let's come back here i'm going to come and execute a maven command so i'm going to say maven spring maven maven spring boot build all right build image all right now once i hit enter let's see what is going to happen give it a moment all right i have a build failure so let me just come back to and use the life cycles in here so under plugins then spring boot i'm just going to say build image all right so give it a moment give it a moment as it executes so as you can see it's now building this image with this particular image name that we have specified all right so as you can see it is using paketo as i had mentioned earlier on all right so give it a moment or two so that we can see what is going to happen by the time this process is going to be done right right 
so this looks like it may take a moment so i'm going to pause right in here and we are going to continue once this particular build process has completed all right all right so as you can see our image was successfully built and we did not use any explicit docker file anywhere all right we just use the build pack that comes with spring boot maven plugin which as i mentioned this is pa paquito all right now the, the next stage that we are going to have a look at is now how we can be able to optimize this particular image now before we do that let us first of all have a deep dive on this newly generated image let us see its structure the way it looks like all right so i'm going to come and say dive then that particular image all right give it a minute as it analyzes all right now if we go to the last layer we are going to see that we are getting around 573 kilobyte of the application size all right now before now we do the thinning of our application one thing that i would like to mention so that we can at least understand what is happening behind the scenes and the importance of what we are going to be looking at is that you're going to find that a docker image is composed of a stack of layers as you can see each representing an instruction in our docker file all right now when we pull that particular docker image from the registry it is usually pulled by layers and cached in the host as we have seen spring boot uses a fat jar as its default packaging format all right and when we inspect this particular jar as we can see now we can see that the application it forms a very small part of the entire jar and this is the part that changes frequently all right now the remaining part is composed of the spring framework dependencies all right so basically all these other layers are basically spring framework dependencies right all right now the optimization technique all right it basically focuses around isolating the application into a separate layer from the spring framework dependencies such that those dependencies layers forming the bulk of the fat jar is downloaded only once and cached in the host system and only the thin application layer is pulled during application updates all right now i hope now you have a, you have a, a general overview or basically an understanding of why we need to have thin jars in our application all right having said that let us come back to our pom configuration all right then we are going to enable layering all right so the only thing that we need to do in here is just say layers then we just need to say enabled we're going to set it as true all right then i'm going to resync now i'm not going to close this particular tab i'm going to open another one then i'm just going to clear now before that i'm going to clean and rebuild our application right so clean then i'm going to package give it a moment give it a moment all right now let us now run our build image command let's see what happens so i'm going to click that particular action give it a moment again as it builds our new image using packet of course one moment all right cool now let us try and analyze this particular image and see what we are going to get all right so let's do a dive all right so what i'm going to do in here is now as you can see currently we still have a 573 kilobytes all right so there wasn't any major change for this application because you're going to find that it was a very 
tiny kind of an application that we did but to demonstrate this and what the effects it has i'm going to open another application that i had done now without enabling layering for this particular application we were getting this application size to have 31 mb all right now and after enabling a thin jar the new file size that i was getting is 2.4 mb all right so you can see it is quite a significant amount of data that or basically an, a significant amount of size that we get we reduce basically after we enable uh thinning or basically layering of an application all right so if you have an application that you've already done you can run this on your end see how it works all right in case there are any questions or concerns shoot them in the comment section and i'll definitely respond accordingly all right so this brings us to an end to this particular episode i hope you have learned at least how you can be able to enable a layering of your application and that now you'll be able now to use thin jars going forward so i'll see you on the next one goodbye